not to be confused with Homi K. Babha, Homi Jahangir Babha, FRS was an Indian nuclear physicist, founding director, and professor of physics at the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research. Colloquially known as father of Indian nuclear program, Babha was the founding director of two well-known research institutions, namely the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research and the Trombay Atomic Energy Establishment. Both sites were the cornerstone of Indian development of nuclear weapons which Babha also supervised as its director. Career, starting his scientific career in nuclear physics from Great Britain, Babha returned to India for his annual vacation prior to start of the World War II in September 1939, prompting Babha to remain in India, and accepted a post of reader in physics at the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore, headed by Nobel laureate C. V. Raman. During this time, Babha played a key role in convincing the Congress Party's senior leaders, most notable Jawaharlal Nehru who later served as India's first Prime Minister, to start the ambitious nuclear program. As part of this vision, Babha established the Cosmic Ray Research Unit at the Institute, began to work on the theory of the movement of point particles, while independently conduct research on nuclear weapons in 1944. In 1945, he established the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Bombay, and the Atomic Energy Commission in 1948, serving its first chairman. In 1948, Nehru led the appointment of Babha as the director of the nuclear program and tasked Babha to develop the nuclear weapons soon after. In the 1950s, Babha represented India in IAEA conferences and served as President of the United Nations Conference on the Peaceful Uses of Atomic Energy in Geneva, Switzerland in 1955. During this time, he intensified his lobbying for developing the nuclear weapons, and soon after the Sino-Indo War, Babha aggressively and publicly began to call for the nuclear weapons. Babha gained international prominence after deriving a correct expression for the probability of scattering positrons by electrons, a process now known as Babha scattering. His major contribution included his work on Compton's scattering, a process, and furthermore the advancement of nuclear physics. He was awarded Padma Bhushan by Government of India in 1954. He later served as the member of the Indian Cabinet's Scientific Advisory Committee and provided the pivotal role to Vikram Sarabhai to set up the Indian National Committee for Space Research. In January 1966, Babha died in a plane crash near Mont Blanc, while heading to Vienna, Austria to attend a meeting of the International Atomic Energy Agency's Scientific Advisory Committee. Early life, Homi Jahangir Babha was born into a wealthy and prominent industrial Parsi family, through which he was related to Dinshaw Manikji Petty, and Darabji Tata. He was born on October 30, 1909, in an illustrious family with a long tradition of learning and service to the country. His father was Jayanga Hormuzji Babha, a well-known lawyer and his mother was Miran. He received his early education at Bombay's Cathedral and John Knon School and entered Elphinstone College at age 15 after passing his senior Cambridge examination with honours. His name, Homi, is from Persian, meaning conqueror of the world. He then attended the Royal Institute of Science until 1927 before joining Keyes College of Cambridge University. This was due to the insistence of his father and his uncle Dorab Tata, who planned for Babha to obtain a degree in mechanical engineering from Cambridge and then return to India, where he would join the Tata Steel Mills in Jamshedpur as a metallurgist. At the University of Cambridge, Babha's father understood his son's predicament, and he agreed to finance his studies in mathematics provided that he obtain first class on his mechanical sciences tripos exam. Babha took the Tripos exam in June 1930 and passed with first class. Afterwards, he embarked on his mathematical studies under Paul Dirac to complete the mathematics Tripos. Meanwhile, he worked at the Cavendish Laboratory while working towards his doctorate in theoretical physics. At the time, the laboratory was the center of a number of scientific breakthroughs. James Chadwick had discovered the neutron, John Cockcroft and Ernest Walton transmuted lithium with high-energy protons, and Patrick Blackett and Giuseppe Acchiali used cloud chambers to demonstrate the production of electron pairs and showers by gamma radiation. During the 1931 a Euro 1932 academic year, 
Babpa was awarded the Salomon Studentship in Engineering. In 1932, he obtained first class on his mathematical tripos and was awarded the Rouse Ball Traveling Studentship in Mathematics. During this time, the nuclear physics was attracting the greatest minds and it was one of the most significantly emerging fields as compared to theoretical physics. The opposition towards theoretical physics attacked the fields as it was lenient towards theories rather than proving the natural phenomenon through experiments. Conducting experiments on particles which also released tremendous amount of radiation, was lifelong passion of Babha, and his leading-edge research and experiments brought great laurels to Indian physicists who particularly switched their fields to nuclear physics, one of the most notable being Piara Singh Gill. Research in Nuclear Physics in January 1933, Babha received his doctorate in nuclear physics after publishing his first scientific paper, The Absorption of Cosmic Radiation. In the publication, Babha offered an explanation of the absorption features and electron shower production in cosmic rays. The paper helped him win the Isaac Newton studentship in 1934, which he held for the next three years. The following year, he completed his doctoral studies in theoretical physics under Ralph H. Fowler. During his studentship, he split his time working at Cambridge and with Niels Bohr in Copenhagen. In 1935, Babha published a paper in the Proceedings of the Royal Society, Series A, in which performed the first calculation to determine the cross-section of electron-positron scattering. Electron-positron scattering was later named Babha scattering in honor of his contributions in the field. In 1936, the two published a paper, The Passage of Fast Electrons and the Theory of Cosmic Showers in the Proceedings of the Royal Society, Series A, in which they used their theory to describe how primary cosmic rays from outer space interact with the upper atmosphere to produce particles observed at the ground level. Babha and Heitler then made numerical estimates of the number of electrons in the cascade process at different altitudes for different electron initiation energies. The calculations agreed with the experimental observations of cosmic ray showers made by Bruno Rossi and Pierre Victor Olga a few years before. Babha later concluded that observations of the properties of such particles would lead to the straightforward experimental verification of Albert Einstein's theory of relativity. In 1937, Babha was awarded the senior studentship of the 1851 exhibition, which helped him continue his work at Cambridge until the outbreak of World War II in 1939. Returned to India, in September 1939, Babha was in India for a brief holiday when World War II broke out, and he decided not to return to England for the time being. He accepted an offer to serve as the reader in the physics department of the Indian Institute of Science, then headed by renowned physicist C. V. Raman. He received a special research grant from the Sadur Abtata Trust, which he used to establish the Cosmic Ray Research Unit at the Institute. Babha selected a few students, including Harish Chandra, to work with him. Later, on March 20, 1941, he was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society. With the help of J.R.D. Tata, he played an instrumental role in the establishment of the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Bombay. Atomic Energy in India When Babha was working at the Indian Institute of Science, there was no institute in India which had the necessary facilities for original work in nuclear physics, cosmic rays, high-energy physics, and other frontiers of knowledge in physics. This prompted him to send a proposal in March 1944 to the Sadarabji Jamsitji Tata. Tata Trust for establishing a vigorous school of research in fundamental physics. In his proposal he wrote here, the trustees of Sadarabji Jamsitji. Tata Trust decided to accept Babha's proposal and financial responsibility for starting the institute in April 1944. Bombay was chosen as the location for the proposed institute as the government of Bombay showed interest in becoming a joint founder of the proposed institute. The institute, named Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, was inaugurated in 1945 in 540 square meters of hired space in an existing building. In 1948 the institute was moved into the old buildings of the Royal Yacht Club. When Babha realized that technology development for the atomic energy program could no longer be carried out within TIFR he proposed to the government to build a new laboratory entirely devoted to this purpose. 
For this purpose, 1,200 acres of land was acquired at Trombay from the Bombay government. Thus the atomic energy establishment Trombay started functioning in 1954. The same year the Department of Atomic Energy was also established. He represented India in international atomic energy forums, and as President of the United Nations Conference on the Peaceful Uses of Atomic Energy, in Geneva, Switzerland in 1955. He was elected a foreign honorary member of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1958. Visionary behind India's three-stage nuclear power program, Babla is generally acknowledged as the father of Indian nuclear power. Moreover, he is credited with formulating the country's strategy in the field of nuclear power to focus on extracting power from the country's vast thorium reserves rather than its meager uranium reserves. This thorium-focused strategy was in marked contrast to all other countries in the world. The approach proposed by Babla to achieve this strategic objective became India's three-stage nuclear power program. Babha paraphrased the three-stage approach as follows, as a result of Babha's vision, India has the most technically ambitious and innovative nuclear energy program in the world. The extent and functionality of its nuclear experimental facilities are matched only by those in Russia and are far ahead of what is left in the U.S. Death, he died when Air India Flight 101 crashed near Mont Blanc on January 24, 1966. Assassination Conspiracy Many possible theories have been advanced for the air crash, including a conspiracy theory in which Central Intelligence Agency is involved in order to paralyze India's nuclear program. While an Indian diplomatic bag containing newspapers, calendars and a personal letter was recovered near the crash site in 2012, it was a Type C diplomatic bag containing no documents of importance. Legacy After his death, the Atomic Energy Establishment at Bombay was renamed as the Babha Atomic Research Center in his honor. In addition to being an able scientist and administrator, Babha was also a painter and a classical music and opera enthusiast, besides being an amateur botanist. He is one of the most prominent scientists that India has ever had. Babha also encouraged research in electronics, space science, radio astronomy and microbiology. The famed radio telescope at Uti, India was his initiative, and it became a reality in 1970. The Homi Babha Fellowship Council has been giving the Homi Babha Fellowship since 1967. Other noted institutions in his name are the Homi Babha National Institute, an Indian deemed university, and the Homi Babha Center for Science Education, Mumbai, India. Trivia On March 13, 2014, the Times of India reported that the National Centre for the Performing Arts had issued a public notice inviting developers and investors interested in purchasing Miranjal, the sprawling colonial bungalow at Malabar Hill where Babha spent most of his life. The bungalow has a built-up area of 13,953 square feet and a plot measuring 17,150 square feet. After Babha died in 1966, his brother Jamsh became the custodian of the Babha estate. Being an avid patron of arts and culture, Jamsht Babha, who died in 2007, aged 93, had willed the property along with paintings, jewelry, artifacts and furniture to the NCPA, which he had established. Located at a stone's throw from Hanging Gardens, the property is estimated to be valued at over Rs 257 crore and was sold to Godridge family for Rs 372 crore by the NCPA on June 18, 2014. The employees and scientists working for Department of Atomic Energy and Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, which Babha founded, have protested against the sale of the bungalow to private developers as they believe that the bungalow should be preserved as a memorial. However NCPA Chairman K. N. Santuk said that such sentiments are Euro Oweer misplaced a Euro he said that that Homi Babha, the architect of India Euro unregistered trademark as nuclear power program, was only a part owner of the property and after his demise, the property a Euro e devolved solely upon his brother Jamsht, who bequeathed it absolutely to the NCPA by his will, which has since been probated a Euro. Santuk said he was sad that eminent scientists were supporting this movement and that Bach has a lot of funds and they could have used that to bid for the bungalow. While there were eight bidders originally, three turned up for the auction. 
Sun Tuk added that Homi Bapa was a great lover of culture himself and both brothers would have been disappointed with the opposition to the auction. See also, India's three-stage nuclear power program, references, Penny, L. Homi J. Bapa 1909 1909-1966. Biographical Memoirs of Fellows of the Royal Society 13, 35 a Euro 26 doi, 10.1098-SBM. 1967.0002a, AB Unknown Author. Dr. Homi J. Babha. Unknown Author, Google Docs. Homi J. M. Babha. Physics Today 19, 108 Euro 101. 1966. doi 10.1063 1.3048089a, ABCDE Richelson, Jeffrey Richelson. U.S. Intelligence and the Indian Bomb. The National Security Archive, The George Washington University. Published through National Security Archive Electronic Briefing Book No. 187. Retrieved January 24, 2012 A, ABC Sublet, Carey. Dr. Homi J. Babha, Indian Oppenheimer Nuclear Weapon Archive. Nuclear Weapon Archive. Retrieved January 24, 2012 A, FAR. Oomuoio plus or minus, Babha, Homi J, and Walther Heitler. The Passage of Fast Electrons and the Theory of Cosmic Showers. Proceedings of the Royal Society of London. Series A Mathematical and Physical Sciences 159.898432-458 HTTP, RSPA Royal Security Publishing Org 159432 Full PDF, Homi J and Babha. Ramakandra Goa. India After Gandhi, page 216. Pan Macmillan Limited, London A, Book of Members, 1780 a Euro 2010, Chapter B. American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Retrieved June 25, 2011 A, A. B. Raman, Macy. How Homi Babha's Vision Turned India into a Nuclear R&D Leader. Mumbai, Guardian. Retrieved March 1, 2012 A Future Energy Giant. India's Thorium-Based Nuclear Plans. Fizorg.com. October 1, 2010. Retrieved March 4, 2012 A Ganesan Veng to Raman. Babha and His Magnificent Obsessions, page 157. Universities Presser, Edgar A. Hain. Disaster in the Air. Associated University Presses PPA 146 a Euro 147. ISBN A 978 0 5 a Homi Babha, The Physicist with the Difference, BBC News, India Diplomatic Bag Found in French Alps After 46 Years. BBC.co.uk. August 30, 2012. Retrieved September 21, 2012 uh, BBC News, Diplomatic Bag Contents Revealed. BBC.co.uk. Retrieved September 21, 2012 uh, Homi Babha's Malabar Hill Bungalow Up for Sale, Godridge Family Buys Babha Bungalow for RS 372 CR. Bloomberg TV India uh, Protesting in Memoriam. Open Magazine. April 23, 2014 A. Eh? External links, annotated bibliography for Homi J. Babha from the Also's Digital Library for Nuclear Issues. The Woodrow Wilson Center's Nuclear Proliferation International History Project. NPIHP has a series of primary source documents about and by Homi Babha.